And is there someone, since we're in right one, I, uh, I'll give forewarning. Um, is there someone who would like to lead the general Thanksgiving at the end? I'd love to. Oh, Susan. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> When I was five years old, trying to say inestimable is one of my fondest memories. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So it, I think it is eight o'clock. And, uh, and I've been told that this is the feast of the parish, St. James of Jerusalem today. So we'll have some prayers connected to the saints day to celebrate what uh, growing up we would call our feast day. Uh, so happy feast day to each and every one of you today. And we begin morning prayer right one with the confession on page 41 in the Book of Common Prayer. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Let us humbly confess our sins unto almighty God. Almighty, almighty and most and merciful, merciful Father. Father. We have our we have our own the almighty and merciful lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins true repentance and amendment of life and the grace and consolation of his holy spirit amen Amen. 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 O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth, and our mouth shall praise. show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, the Father and the Son, and the Son, and the Son, Holy Spirit, 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 as well as in the beginning, is now, and now and will be forever. Amen. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us adore him. As we listen to the Jubilate, found on page 45 in the Book of Common Prayer.
we continue with Psalm 31 on page 130, Psalm 31. We'll recite the Psalm responsibly, alternating at the asterisk. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make, Make haste, haste to, to deliver, deliver me. me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake, For the sake of, of your, your name, name, lead me in God. In God. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you for have you redeemed, redeemed me, me, O Lord, O God, O truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I put my trust in the Lord. In the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. In the same reflection, you know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow. So also my throat, my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief and my years mm -hmm. with sighing. My strength, strength fails me because, because of affliction and my bones, my bones are, consumed. are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am, I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put we'll their hands together, together against, against me. me. They plot they to take, take my, my life. life. As for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. And I have said, you are my God. My hands are in your hand. Rescue, Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. And in your loving kindness, save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, Rather let, the let the wicked be, be put to shame. shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced, which speak against the righteous. Haughtily disdain with contempt. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid upon those who fear you. Which you have done in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep, you keep them in shelter, shelter from the striving tongues. Blessed be the Lord. For he has shown them the wonders of his love in the besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, no, the sound of my entreaty, and I, I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who worship him. The Lord protects the faithful, faithful, but he pays to those who act haughtily. haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage. All you who wait for the Lord. The Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Father and, to the Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning it's now, and will now be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We'll hear some scripture readings by Steve, and we'll hear music.
between the lessons, I invite you to mute until after the Apostles' Creed. A reading from Revelation. Then the sixth angel blew his trumpet, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels were released, who had been held ready for the hour, the day, the month, and the year, to kill a third of humankind. The number of the troops of Calvary was 200 million. I heard their number, and this was how I saw the horses in my vision. The riders wore breastplates, the color of fire and of sapphire and of sulfur. The heads of the horses were like lion's heads, and fire and smoke and sulfur came out of their mouths. By these three plagues, a third of humankind was killed by the fire and smoke and sulfur coming out of their mouths. For the power of the horses is in their mouths and in their tails. Their tails are like serpents having heads, and with them they inflict harm. The rest of humankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands or give up worshiping demons and idols of gold and silver and bronze and stone and wood, which cannot see or hear or walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their sorceries or their fornications or their thefts. The word of the Lord. reading from Luke. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. The word of the Lord. We reaffirm our baptismal covenant anew this day in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Earth and earth and heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us, grant us, grant us thy, thy salvation, and do thy ministers with righteousness, and, and make your thy chosen people joyful. joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth. Thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. Grant, we beseech thee, O God, that after the example of thy servant, James the Just, brother of our Lord, thy church may give itself continually to prayer and to the reconciliation of all who are at variance and enmity enmity through the same our Lord Jesus Christ who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ church and the world saying Lord in thy mercy hear our prayer. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, who in thy holy word has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, receive these prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. We beseech thee also, so to rule the hearts of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, that they may be led to wise decisions and right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. We commend this nation to thy merciful care, that being guided by thy providence, we may dwell secure in thy peace. Grant to the President of the United States, the Governor of each state, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness, and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in thy fear. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Open, O Lord, the eyes of all people, to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that rejoicing in thy whole creation, they may honor thee with their substance and be faithful stewards of thy bounty. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those in this transitory life who are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in the faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to grant us grace 
so to follow the good example of St. James the Apostle, St. James of Jerusalem, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. 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 Now, O Lord, hear our prayers and let our cry come unto thee for those known to us in our community. You may list your own prayers in the chat section or offer them aloud as we pray for Jocelyn, Adrian, Terry <laughs> Turner, Alan, Beth, Sue, Don, Bill, Cameron, Nicholas, Martha, Marty, Sassy, Linda, Lynn, Archie, Jack, and Lee, Kathy, Kel, Susan, Jane, Heather, Michael, Dana, Oleen, Keith, Francis Hagen and Teresa, Archie, Francis, Terry, Kay, Charlotte, Liz and Astrid, Andy, Michelle and John, the family of Harold Herring Sr., Martha, Georgia, Alyssa, the many ministries and programs of this parish. Are there others you wish to mention? Let us give thanks for the clergy and staff, the wardens and vestry, the many volunteers, and for every parish member, seeker, and guest. I invite you to share your thanksgivings. Friday. For my friend Lisa, who had a good outcome on her cancer. Uh, for my cousin who gave birth to a little girl yesterday. Mm -hmm. I want to share us for this lovely group. We out and say this morning prayer community. Susan will bring our prayers to a close. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Whoa.
holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy, and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should love and show the compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. St. James, it's your day. Be sure to do something for yourself today that's special to celebrate St. James of Jerusalem and this wonderful parish. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. be to God. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Y'all. Thank you for a great service, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Great. You have a beautiful speaking voice. It's just mm. beautiful. That's that scripture that um, Steve read today about Martha. I believe the maybe one of the last sermons I heard in St. James when we could all worship together was either by Jay or Pierce on that scripture. And I, it always stuck with me because it always made me think live in the moment and um, don't get don't get wrapped up in little things and think about the big things. But I, that scripture stuck with me. It was wonderful when you read it today. And I will tell you, I had the, the joy of the moment when Susan, you just killed an estimable girl. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I learned that very early. You don't forget those things. <laughs> well, everyone have a wonderful Friday. Y'all too. Bye. Everybody have a good weekend. weekend. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you again. Bye. Thank, Thank you all. You all. Thank you all.